Hello, hello, Sagittarius. Welcome back, everyone. This is going to be a reading for all Sagittarius placements. So let's get right into your message. All right, let's see. All right, so what's in for a message, please, for Sagittarius? So we have the Empress, <clears throat> the Page of Cups, the Fool. Okay, um... And that is the ones. I see you starting something new, Sagittarius. This could be you started something for women and children for some of you. Or you start you starting a new program or this is something that you're thinking about doing. Okay. All right. But this is a new project or a newfound energy or just like passion. That, that's like I feel like there's a spark up under your ass, literally, that's making you do something. Okay. Or that's making you call someone. Now, this could be another person. This could be a Libra or a mother figure. Somebody feel the need to make something right with you, call you, apologize, okay? This mother energy, or this is how somebody feel with you. Somebody feel like you are in this empress energy. You, you deserve this apology or you deserve this new beginning or you deserve love. Somebody want to give you something that they feel like you deserve, Sagittarius, okay? I feel like they are almost running to do this. Like, somebody is very serious about this. Someone's like, man, I need to hear and go support that Sagittarius. Or, what is the Empress? Alright, so we have the Hermit. This could be a Virgo. The Queen of Wands. There you go, Sag. The Six of Wands. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely you in a in a different light. Okay, this has this this probably have nothing to do with materialistic things or materialistic gain. I feel like this is more so of a different space and a different energy you in. Okay, you have people really just want to like flop back to you or run to you or make it right with you or like if this is not old people, this is new people. Hey, some ones. People just seems to want to, they want to flock to you, Sagittarius. They, like the full core ace of wands, that spark up under somebody ass is facing the queen of wands. So some people feel like they need to come and make it right with you. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Okay. Or just, you know, start something new with you. You just have this energy that gives, I know if I'm up under that Sagittarius, I'm going to win. Okay, now I'm starting not to fucking like this. Okay, it's a good energy, but I'm, I don't know. I'm starting getting like a using energy. Somebody feel like you are anointed. Your energy is very high, so they like boom. If I leech, if I let you onto that Sagittarius, I know I'm bound to win. Bitch, no, we're never doing no leeching. If it's genuine, then that's different. But this is what's the spark that's up under somebody else. Like they look at somebody like they are very um high vibrational in the spiritual realm so they're more so you know just not even the spiritual i'm just saying like a good relationship with god with spirit with your spiritual team you give that you give that in some sort of way and people want to let you on to you with she ace of swords okay so be mindful at this time with who you are who you allow in your energy energy space and she yeah we have the four swords what's the um which is you resting you sleeping are you being cautious you thinking Okay, this could also has something to do with somebody being sick or something. What is the Ace of Wands in the uh, full card? So, yeah, the Ace of Swords, period. The, the hangman trying to fall out. So, yeah, hanging on. Now, some people want to hang. I'm telling you, leeches, baby. People want to hang on to your energy, Sagittarius. People are seeing something new about you. So, what is this? Why do people want to let you into Sagittarius at this time? The Hierophants, I'm telling you right now at this time, you, you're really coming off as somebody who is a very high spiritual being or somebody who's very highly respected, okay? Or maybe you are a preacher. You can be very religious. I feel like you take your work really serious. You take your, you know, you take everything really serious, okay? You don't bother anybody. You know, you don't fuck with anybody. You don't feel the need to be in everybody's face. You very stand off. Cause that shit make people want to fuck with you even more, believe it or not. Okay? So, let's see. More energy. You also could be working here next to this Taurus. For some of you, I feel like you're working a hell of a lot. You also could be working for the government at this time. <clears throat> for some of you, and you're just like, man, I'm just ready to change jobs. This is getting very overwhelming. Okay, maybe you work in a field where you have to be, you know, uh, you have to be in a leadership position where people have to, like, um, 
kind of come for you for help or something of that nature or they have to, they need you for assistance of some sort okay but i am getting a new begin a beginning here sagittarius a new start what is the ace of wands ace of swords so the king of pentacles yeah this can have something to do with your career maybe this is why people want to flock to you or latch on to you okay well give me more of this for sagittarius the emperor yeah i'm definitely getting the king of wands the emperor Baby, what you doing? Is this your new job? Like, I feel like you you and your spouse, for some of you, you and your partner, a lot of people look up to you. Maybe you are a emotion. You you and your partner, you and your spouse are people that, like, help people in the community or something of that nature. But you just, if this is not that, I feel like you just in the energy where you are the boss, so you people need your help. Or people are running to you just to be in your presence. Like I said, I'm more so not getting materialistic. Even though the King of Pentacles can be very materialistic, I don't necessarily feel like this is what this is about. This is about something about your energy, your aura. Everybody want to be around you, okay? That's kind of what I'm doing. Okay, so let's see. What do Sagittarius, is it? Is there any advice for Sagittarius at this time? So we have the Two of Cups and the Seven of... Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords. So they said give, give people little information about you. A lot of people are going to want to let their self on to you, but just make sure you can, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure you give, they saying still be nurturing, Queen of Pentacles, but give people little about you. Let them wonder, okay? Don't let, don't give too much of you. Two of Swords, you, st you still need a boundary. <clears throat> you can also be like a famous person who's watching this or something of that nature. Okay? Or be careful with who you open up to. Okay, the queen, the king and the queen of cups and the justice. All right, I'm also getting, somebody could be getting married soon or somebody is forming a relationship with this water sign and it's, it might be rocky, the two of pentacles, but it will, it's going to work out just as the king, cups, king and the queen of cups, ace of cups. This don't have to be with two water signs. This could be two people that love each other a whole hell of a lot and it could be rocky, it's going to work out. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, turning over a new leaf, Three of Cups, everything working out. Okay, but they're just saying be careful. So what is, so they're just saying be careful of who you let in your, in your space right now, Sagittarius. People are flocking to you. Is there any reason why people are flocking to Sagittarius or trying to lash their self on to this energy? Is there any reason? So we have the High Priestess. I think I did ask anyway over there. I just was curious to see. So the High Priestess, maybe... Like, you're coming out mysterious, Sage. I don't know. This is something that people like, okay? You're coming out mysterious, or they just want to know your secrets, or they just want to learn more about you. So, yeah, just know people are all coming. What's the message for Sagittarius here? <coughs> Regarding the energy here, what is the message, please? For Sagittarius... Regarding this energy. Okay. Gratitude. Okay. Gratitude. Again, it says gratitude again. So speak being grateful, Sagittarius. Um <clears throat> is very important right now. Maybe this is what you're doing. You you're very grateful for everything in your life. And this could be why you are attracting things or things that's flopping to you because you are expressing a lot of gratitude at this time. Okay. And it says, end the flow with money. Okay, so that could be another reason why people are, you know, coming to you, flocking to you. You're just in the Empress Emperor energy. We think that you're really winning or things is going your way. Or like I said, this is all about your, um, like your energy. Okay, you are vibrating on a certain level that people can kind of sense. Even if you, you could just be dead broke right now, just broke. You don't have anything. Your energy, you're still showing up as the Empress Emperor. Mind you, just living off experience with the cards. When I was going through a tough time with my situation, when I didn't have anywhere to go, I was homeless. I was staying with my kids. I knew I had eviction and I had to pay that shit off. I had a matter to do with for me to, you know, in order for you to move to a new house, you can't, you got to pay that eviction off from that last house. And I'm like, damn, I owe these people it's my X, Y, and Z. And I would always pull that Empress card when I was in that energy, when I asked what, em what energy am I in. And it would always say the Empress, the Empress, the Empress. No matter how many times I pull it, 
And I knew right then and there, my soul was deeper than what, my soul was bigger than what I was going through. I knew right then and there, I had to change the way I was thinking about my situation because I was bigger than my situation. That's kind of what I'm getting for some of you. If you are going through a tough time, you feel like, no, nah, I'm definitely not, you know, I'm not in my empress energies just yet. You might already be there, okay? And people are sensitive. They know the fool. They run into you. Okay, baby? So just look, I'm talking about running. Knight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Knight of Wands. People are running to somebody. Okay? Off something. The Three of Wands, that's like astral projection, projection for real, for real. This is something that you can feel from a distance. You can see it. You can feel it. Although nothing is there, you can still, you have that feeling because you up, you standing, and you feel it. You're like, damn, what's that? What's that I feel? But nothing is there, though. You see what I'm saying? That's how motherfuckers feel about you. Baby, please. You might feel like nothing is there, You, but it's there. Period. It's all there. They feel it. They need it. They need. They feel like they need to be in your presence because they know something is coming or you are already there. You are already in this empress, the emperor energy. That's what I got for y'all, honey. Thank you so much for your support. Bye.